Welcome to 934 Gallery. My name is Johnny Riddle. I'm the executive director here. And thank you so much for joining us for the virtual tour of Fragments of Reality. Tonight, artists Aaron Cameron and Sky Day will give you a walkthrough of their exhibition as well as a little bit of insight into each of the pieces. All pieces are available for view and purchase on the website 934gallery.org. If you'd like to view the exhibition in person, you can book an appointment and review our safety guidelines on our website. And now I'd like to welcome Aaron Cameron and Sky Day. Hi, I'm Aaron Cameron. I went to school at Ohio Wesleyan University where I studied painting and drawing. I then went on to the Ohio State University where I studied printmaking. We'll start with this piece. It's called Drying Flowers. Lately, I've been really interested in collage and that's becoming a more important part of my process. This one specifically is acrylic on paper and everything is done by hand. So I'm not actually collaging any of the materials that I find in magazines or anything like that. But I do start with that as some of my source material. This piece is also partially a collage. I've used some of my older prints, gouache and graphite together. And these two pieces here are also graphite. I'm largely inspired by fashion magazines, advertisements, and a lot of different materials that I find just browsing the internet. So I'll combine sources in my own way to try to create a different narrative about beauty trends or uh, just the general demands that are placed on people and how people manipulate themselves in different ways to fit a perceived standard of beauty. Um, these two pieces here uh, were screen prints and then I painted over them. So it's still that process of combining different imagery together, which is pretty central to my process. This is an older piece that I did, which is uh, acrylic over a lithograph. Uh, I've always been drawn to painting and drawing and being able to change and manipulate things. So even though I'm trained as a printmaker, I find it challenging to uh, work with that media at times because it, it can be very rigid and doesn't allow you to change things at times. So I've, uh, I've util utilized my prints in a lot of ways and, and just basically painted over them or cut them up so that I can change them. Got another two drawings here, just graphite on paper. And this last one here is a lithograph. I left it untouched for this one. I was fairly happy with the, the print in this case. Uh, this piece here is also a lithograph. Yeah, I think uh, basically it's important to me that I create a different, uh, I present the images that I'm inspired by in a different light. My name is Sky Day and this is Monet um, and I'm a painter. Um, I graduated from CCAD, Columbus College of Art and Design, with um, a major in fine arts and minor in creative writing and I make work about trauma and memory. So I made this piece in my residency that I had the past few months in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania at Bunker Projects. I was making a piece for my birthday and I decided like basically to make a painting that was a birthday for like all parts of me, like if parts of myself were to be personified, like how would that look like? Like my little kid part, troublemaker part, artist part, dancer part, depressed part, social self, motherly self, like things like that. Like if I were to like make a birthday party for all parts of myself, what would that look like? And it was like, a pretty cool process and I'm like taking that from the scope of like trauma and this disassociated parts of self or like internal internal family systems and like how like um, we all have different parts of ourselves that come out at different times so I was like basically took that and like ran with it and made this painting I also put Monet in as a diva he's a diva dog in this painting 
This painting I made off of a nightmare I had that this man kidnapped my cousin, killed her, and left her body in a stroller. And I saw it and I was like, God, you did this. Then I set my, the minivan on fire and yeah. But this is about dreaming and having things from my childhood come into the dream space. I was exploring more messy brush strokes and like more like cartoon imagery to bring that childhood essence into this painting. Different perspectives make it seem surreal like a dream space or like what is really real, like what's not, like how do you know if your memories are true or not. I was playing with that. These are my ladder sculptures and they're pretty fun, you know. I was thinking about ladders as an image of escape. And so I was thinking of like, how do you get out of like a bad situation? What if there was like a ladder that would just like come down from the sky and like you could just climb out of like any situation? I also like, I didn't want them to be like functional ladders. I wanted them to be like, whimsical, wonky and personified, have their own personality. And that's why the series is titled A Way Out. Cause I was thinking about like a way out of like traumatic experiences. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us for the virtual tour this evening. Again, if you'd like to view, purchase, or book an appointment to see any of this work in person, please head to our website, 934gallery.org. Our next virtual experience will be the artist talk with Dan, John, and Diane Abels on Saturday, July 18th. Lastly, if you enjoyed this programming and would like to support future exhibitions, please feel free to make a gift at our website, again, 934gallery.org. Thank you so much and be safe.